The National Assembly held its first ordinary session in the 2023 legislative year. The Minister for Petroleum and Energy, on behalf of the Finance Minister on Monday, tabled, of course, a motion of financial agreements of the Government of the Gambia and the European Investment Bank on the Electricity Restoration and Modernization Project worth over $500 million. Now, the, of course, the loan uh, includes an eight, of course, 800,000, or of course, zeros, and electricity project loan, as well as grant of 24 million and, and technical assistance of 3 million earmarked for the electrification of 1,000 schools and also 1,000 or hundreds of hospitals in the Gambia. Maria Macham has more details of that in this report. The 24 million euro investment grant is between the government of the Gambia, the sustainable energy service company SESCO, and the European Investment Bank, which is also on the electricity restoration and the modernization project for component four of the renewable energy project. Tabling the motion before the parliamentarians, the country's petroleum minister explains the benefit to the country should the project be fully and effectively implemented. The effective implementation of this project will contribute significantly to the attainment of the NDP objectives, especially the strategic objective of building our infrastructure and restoring energy services to power our economy as we strive to attain universal access to electricity for all Gambians 2025. Honorable Speaker, in light of the foregoing, I respectfully submit to this Honourable House the above-mentioned financing agreement for consideration and ratification. While many parliamentarians lauded the significance of the project, some members, however, gave rigorous scrutiny as they take turns to debate on the issue. Most of the concerns raised by the parliamentarians include project sustainability, employment opportunity for Gambians, implementation process, and others. National Assembly Member for Fournier Councillor Honorable Almami Jiba expressed concern about the proper monitoring of the project. As for the component of the project that the Honorable Minister has alluded, he initiated that uh, most priorities will be of uh, basic and secondary education, that is about 1,000 schools, and again also 100 hospitals uh, for the Minister of Health. Uh, we all know uh, there is a lot of deficit cry in the health sector, where sometimes a lot, of, a lot of lives are lose, either in delivery or in surgery. And I don't know how capaci capacitized will be those, those, those uh, projects take place, whether they'll be able to at least take the full control of some of those services. The parliamentarians for Kiang West and Nyanija also raised concerns about the content and employment opportunities for Gambians and the role of NAWEC in the implementation of the project. Local content is very, very important as far as such projects are concerned. Um, uh, employment uh, is a key factor uh, in our country today as the private sectors are crying for the employment and the government has an agenda of employing 1,500 people. And uh, how do we make sure that this employment agenda that we have has a portion in this project is very, very important. But I just want to know, as probably the implementing agency for government, <coughs> that is NAVEC, what is going to be their role in this? Um, because we don't want to be ratifying here, as my other honorable colleagues have said, we don't want to be ratifying here a loan or a grant in the name of the government, people at the end of the day. And it's going to be in a renewable energy form being supplied to schools and facilities. And then I, I don't know whether it is going to be like the through the routine electricity purchase in this country, like you have your gas power meters in schools or whatever. So I just, I'm just thinking about that. How is this going to be done? Responding to some of the queries raised by parliamentarians, the petroleum minister explains the following. This project which is called the Gambia Restoration and Modernization Project, as indicated um, page eight of the um, financing 
finance contract, which is the loan, comprises of four components. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three is being implemented currently by NAWEC. It's at the stage of implementation. You know, I think the National Assembly ratified, you know, those three components. And um, the, some of you may be aware, two, two three weeks ago, um, we laid the foundation stone for the um, 23, it's not 20, 20, but 23 megawatts um, solar PV plant grid connected with eight megawatt hours battery storage facility in Jambul. The loan that is expected to be paid in 25 years was ratified by the Gambian Parliament with the hope that it will help enhance the country's energy sector and pave the way of ending the long-standing electricity nightmares in the country. The financing agreement is between the government of the Gambia and the European Investment Bank on the Electricity Restoration and Modernization Project, also called the Gambia Renewable Energy Project, and is the finance contract loan for Component 4 of the Renewable Energy Project. Reporting for iAfrican News, I am Mariama Cham.